or because the opponent's comp is so dysfunctional, then it works. Likewise, I don't, I don't, I don't think Ana is very useful, or maybe I just haven't had a very good draft yet. Tier two, tier three. Now, I think that's the best you can hope for. I mean, I faced Tracer, which is difficult, but the game before it, we had a terrible draft ourselves. We hooked Greymane Lucio Murden into us. Maybe just gotten out drafted twice because I picked her too early. But possibly she might be tier three. What if you're not so good with her? That's, yeah, of course. How could I be? I barely played her. It could be different build, different usage. This realm needs me. I just don't see it. Let's try the end Ana then. Might need more practice. There is always hope. He's 6-4 with Ana at the moment. Okay, nice. 0-2 as Ana at the moment. Let's see what kind of comps he won with. And how many times did he practice it in quick match? Uh, a lot more than me. I don't know if he went 5 man. Oh, wait, I have to ban. Liming and Ubrak Ariel. Ban Arthas. Uh, yes, what was I looking at? In Hero League. He lost with Lily Anna against Tracer Tassadar and, and Dhaka. Lost with Anna Rhaegar against the comp where there isn't a lot of dive. Double support. Lost with Anna. Eh, see, he lost his first three as well. Uh, he was solo quick match training, he says. Okay. Anna Karazim. Uh, lost as well. Which is very long wave clear, but they the do get Osmo over. stitches. Uh, Osmo Falstaff stitches. Against Lucio Abathur. Okay, Greymane Arthas. First win. Happy moments with Brightwing. So that's like how someone said to me just now in chat, right? Anna Brightwing was a lot better. It was a Shishishan said it. Anna Brightwing. But it's against Zarya, who's pretty weak herself. Win against Dust Tracer Brightwing with Vagar, Zera, Varian, Chromi. So the cool thing about playing Anna with Chromi is that they are already forced to come to you, so you don't need to chase, which she's not very good at. But it's still against Tough Tracer Genji. It looks really tough to go up against. Nice Taunt Peel variant though, I guess. Then... Ana Rhaegar against, again, Tracer. Double Stitches. One with Ana Stukov. My blades are huh? yours. <laughs> Anna Stuck of Jaina Keltas Greymane. Alright, repping at no tank play against Probius Alara Chromis. <laughs> what? What? What the heck was that? No tank on either side. <laughs> I, I want to see the replay of that too.
I'm tired of the Pachimari. Sorry, I'm not gonna click. go for a cocktail build so we're against okay Anubrek Malthael Liminka Ariel and we got Karazim Ana very long wave clear Greetings, friend. you have found the golden Your Pachamari well and thank you I hope he went inside. Ready to jump into the fray. Dilnails never back down. Impressive. Iron Fist is good too. I think uh, inside is super buffed. I want to play Karazim inside today. Super Aslan, thank you very much, man. I have your scent. Impressive work. I will not accept defeat. No quarter. Greetings, friend. Too late to stop now. Dollar, dollar. <sighs> 28 months. Thank you very much for the support over the years, man. Ariel just keeps getting flipped. Feels good, man. I fight for my countrymen. Die like the dog you are. Die like the dog you are. Try to stop my legs. I keep up with you. Kill. I need to return to base. I go for incendiary elixir. I will not accept defeat. 
Oh, I've been streaming for more than 28 months. <laughs> Since 2011. This is my There's a few five and six year subs. Pretty crazy. Yeah, the tower was helping him. Denied. <laughs> For honor and glory. Again. <laughs> go for go for the throat. Ten ten would sub again. Thank you very much, Dust Flume. It's way overdue that I came to help here, and Oppo way overstayed, by the way. when English Grey Mane and that German Rehaga meet in planes over North Sea. A dog fight. Ha ha Grabogan. Let me handle this. That was worse than Leviathan's jokes. Objective important. Sonya just killed Malthale. It's nice they added the map without objective. Coco? Yeah. Fun fact, Garros is French slang for throw. Oh, wow. I wonder if that's intentional. I don't know who I casted GFTT on. Oh, I got mana boosted. Ready to jump into the fray. 
I, I meant to cast on an Uberak, but I didn't really see who it went for. Oh, nice, we got the golem. No, she doesn't say hitting you with an onion. She says... Uh, well, I forgot. Boost on you. Boost on you. Instead of hitting on you. I believe it's boost on you. Something like that. Nano boost on you. Or hitting you with a nano. Yeah, yeah that's it. Boosted onion. No, close, but most assuredly. I've got you now. Victory will be ours. Yeah. What a We have very little CC, so I don't see the value in Executioner. I'll get Earwolf. First Golem keep. Oh yeah, that was the first Golem. It's quite a strong one. I can't go alone. Victory will be ours. For the true Someone once told me I'm pressing keys harder when enemies are near death. <laughs> it's true. It's so satisfying. It can work. Yeah, I did dodge airstrike. MVP. But I think our draft was better. But probably is a better Ana too. Must be. But Garrus served us so many kills on Ariel. It was such a snowball game because of it. Did you guys just draft better? Let's analyze it. Because I didn't think much about it during the game. Melee Assassin, let's see, our wave clear is good, good, bad, 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 but it's a two lane map, so that's more okay. Uh, Ariel continuously walked into Garrosh's combo, uh, that made it a lot easier for us to get a good early game. 
We can take camps better than them with Sonya and Greymane, and camps are pretty important. You can see how slowly we actually went for the objective, because camps are pretty good. We don't have any many stunts. He went for grenade build, by the way, which has the most self-heal. It's the safest, so is Mind Numbing Agent, with the exception of maybe Sleep Dart, but that one is hard to hit. Nano boost, movement speed, and full grenade. Yeah, I also think grenade build is the best, simply because she has so little heal for herself without it. Uh, Garus is really good peel with Warlord Challenge. Enemy also doesn't have any... Well, they don't have too much synergy between Cassia and Malthiel. Like, Malthiel and Ubra can jump in, but Liming, Ariel, Cassia cannot really. Liming kind of can. But Karazim is big pressure on squishies to try to come forward. Taunt was huge. Anubarak, by the way, is perfect when you can cocoon one person and then the opponent is without like a solid team. Blow someone up quickly. He's a burst warrior enabler. They, they aren't a full burst comp. Ariel is more of a su sustain, so is Malthiel. Liming is burst, but Cassia again, not very bursty. So Ario and Cassia work great together, but in this case, Anubarak might even better be Johanna. I don't know, for more sustain. Because he he was easy to kill because his health bar is low. The best is using Bomb to deny enemy heal on Ario Malthea. Makes sense. Must be a big key of it. Uh, but I think... I think their comp wasn't bad. Ours was pretty good though. But overall, I would say it was mostly about execution. The amount of times that Ariel or Anubara got singled out by Garrosh was too debilitating. Ah, nice. Ooh. Oh. That's my favorite portrait for my youth. That's Diablo 1. Or maybe it was like, no, I just wanted to kill Stitches. <laughs> Thought we could kill Stitches. Oh, it's time to get out of here. <laughs> 